New data has been released and it's by the federal government. Nancy Pelosi has made an announcement on inflation. Millions of low people in low income households can expect to receive inflation relief checks very soon. And these payments will be automatically sent out for some, while others may have to take action to receive this assistance. And not only that, you guys want to be sure to continue to watch this video because it gets much more interesting. Now, as Republicans are gaining momentum on concerns about the economy, the only thing that Democrats seem to agree on about their issue is that inflation high gas prices is the problem. Now, Ro Khanna, Representative Ro Khanna, the, Ro Khanna, Representative Ro Khanna has told NBC News that what is our message about why inflation is going to be worse if Republicans win? I don't think our economic message has been loud or sharp enough. And when asked about inflation this week, Nancy Pelosi said, we'll have to message it better in the next three weeks ahead. With gas prices up again and a potential recession looming, voters are once again telling pollsters that inflation is the most important issue facing the country, reversing the boost that Democrats enjoyed over the summer when the public was more concerned with other issues. Democratic pollsters and strategists are sounding the alarm. Even as President Biden and some candidates sharpened their focus on inflation, Democrats are worried it may be too late. When inflation first started creeping up in 2021, Democrats tried to downplay the issue, arguing it was only temporary. Now, it's been a year over inflation, and, not a comp and according to credit card companies and banks, U.S. consumers have demonstrated willingness to continue to pay higher prices in the face of a sluggish economy that could be tipped into. Now, the demand for travel is particularly resilient as Americans make up for postponed trips due to the crisis. Consumers are also spurging on food and entertainment after the crisis has eased. Now, Bank of America is not experiencing any slower growth in spending either, despite inflation having reached historic highs. The recent data economic have showed that signs of stagnation in consumer spending and retail and food services sales were a little changed for September after rising in August. So millions of people are still eligible to receive a crisis relief payment with some households in a store for a possible massive payment. The IRS has announced in a news release that more than 9 million mostly low income Americans did not claim any pieces of it at all. Many are still qualified to receive the money if they had no income last year. However, they will be required to file a tax turn in order to take advantage of the relief payments, including the expanded child tax credit. The 2021 Recovery Bay Credit and the Earned Income Tax Credit, IRS Commissioner Chuck Reddick said in a statement, We don't want people to overlook these tax credits, and the letters will remind people of their potential eligibility and steps that they can take. The IRS said that the free file program will remain open through November 17th. The free file tool is available to anyone who earns 73 grand or less in 2021. The IRS is sending a special reminder letter for people qualified for the, for the different tax credits who haven't filed a tax turn yet. And the IRS said that the free file program remained open through November, and the free file tool is available to anybody who earned less than to anybody who earned less than seventy-three thousand dollars less in 2021. And the IRS is sending a special reminder letter for people who seem to be qualified for the different child tax credits but haven't filed a tax return yet in order to claim them. In total, people can possibly receive a payment worth up to five figures if they have yet to claim the expanded child tax credit, the stimulus payment of four hundred dollars per person, or the child and dependent care credit that families who pay for daycare up to eight grand for two or more children. Under the expanded child tax credit, low and middle income parents can also receive up to three thousand dollars for every child ages six to seventeen. So, hopefully President Biden can do something about this, help out the American people, and send out stimulus payments. Tell me if you guys think he will this year, because I know he will for sure. Thanks for watching. I am so happy to be here with you. Hello, Team Murray. So, I love Seattle. I truly do. I love you. We love you too. Oh, good. I come here anytime I can. Uh, and that's the truth, but I want to tell you specifically Eligible recipients will get their payment on as a direct deposit or prepaid debit card And the Department of Labor and Industry has also released a report breaking down the number of payments for different industries 90 days of the payments are processed So state officials have actually said the final payments not be taxed just yet until the, but the taxable at the federal level So that's one thing to know Taxable at the federal level and not only that but listen to this everybody Senator Wyden shared expectations for the 10-year investment, including customer service and technology, in a letter to the Treasury Secretary, that's what the Commissioner said. Then, according to Senator Wyden, these priorities are on top of implementing tax provisions like clean energy credits, health insurance subsidies, and others. Wyden has said the funds would not be used to increase the audit rate relative to historic levels for those making less than 400 grand. Wyden also urged the IRS to improve the customer service because, let's be honest, that needs to be fixed. Wine asked for technology upgrades to improve service and enforcement.
making it easier to process third-party tax form and flag errors to begin audits more quickly. Wyden also highlighted the need to rebalance I rates between wealthy and lower-income taxpayers by hiring more revenue agents, and IRS audits dropped 44% between fiscal year 2015 and 2019, and according to a 21 report, the Treasury Secretary, or Treasury Inspector actually, for the Tax Administration, said the audits have actually dropped by 75% making a million more for the low and moderate earners. So stimulus payments are going out. That is official and people are receiving stimulus payments very, very soon. So let's be excited for that. That'd take you a long time to come up with that one. <laughs> I could have guessed that one. RawGeneration.com for all you folks watching out there. This is a true, unique Jersey success story that sells all over the, the United States and it's direct to consumer. So you're going to have to go to that website uh, and get, get your incredibly healthy uh, juices from Raw Generation, rawgeneration.com. I'm also honored to be joined in addition of Bill and Jess to the Commissioner of the Department of Labor and Workforce Development and Rutgers fan Rabba Sarah Angelo, New Jersey Economic Development Authority Chief Executive Officer Tim Sullivan. Is Kathleen here? Kathleen, I, I apologize. Uh, the EDA's Chief Economic Transformation Officer, Kathleen Coviello. Kathleen, great to have you with us. We have Senator Vin Gopal, who I was with yesterday, where he received a, a, a richly deserved acknowledgement from the Department of Military and Veterans Affairs. Good to be with you, Vin. Uh, we have the Manufacturing uh, Caucus co-chair to your right, Senator Linda Greenstein. Linda, great to be with you as well. Assemblywoman Marilyn Paperno is with us. Marilyn, great to be with you. We're in your backyard. Um, and we have, to my far left, a guy who I've got a long-standing now relationship with, largely on email, the CEO of the New Jersey Manufacturing Extension Program, John Kennedy. John, great to be with you. And Aaron Fitchner is with us. I want to give Aaron a shout out, who's in the back, who is representing the Consortium of Community Colleges. So to, to today and together, all of us, we are proud to raise the curtain on the brand new New Jersey Manufacturing Voucher Program, or NJMVP, a $20 million investment through the state budget aimed at growing and supporting New Jersey's manufacturers and creating good paying jobs along the way. NJMVP will provide manufacturers in targeted industries, including importantly companies in the food and beverage sector, like Raw Generation, that will provide them grants geared to cover up to 50% of the costs of purchasing new equipment or technology that will make their production operations more efficient and productive and at the end of the day, more profitable. We're talking grants that will range from a minimum, I think, Tim, of 